What's going on, YouTube? MKM still stacking here. Was just uh, rummaging about the house today. Got a knock at the door, and it was the postman, and he had this box for me. So let's see what we got here. Nicely secured, eh? Much this straightforward envelope here. Mm, look what we have here. Ah, very nice. Got two 10 ounce bars here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and take these out of the plastic. Oh, well, maybe I won't. Yeah, I think I will. Figure out a way to, to seal these later. It right, looks like we've got a 10 ounce Horaeus bar and a Ten ounce Westminster mint bar. Both, both are pretty much the same dimensions. And are pretty solid here. They're a little dusty, but I think I can. They can be wiped off. See, here's the reverse side and the front side of the Horaeus bar. And there are really no ridges on the side of here. Oh, it looks like there's a little bit of scuffing here on the side of it. Oh well, they're bars, so they can be a little bit roughed up more, wouldn't you say? Um, so smooth, smooth edges. Horaeus emblem on the back there. And uh, that's about it for that one. And same for the Westminster Mint Bar. Westminster Mint uh, lettering here on the back. Again, some scuffing there. But oh well, again, they're bars, so they don't have to be perfect. Um, smooth edges. And uh, Westminster emblem at the top, 10 troy ounces, 999 fine silver, made in the US. Serial number on the bottom. Same for the Horaeus bar, Horaeus stamp at the top, 10 troy ounces, 999 fine silver, and serial number at the bottom. So, pretty nice acquisitions, I would say, overall. But uh, I don't have many bars. I, other than these two bars, I have, I have six other Engelhart uh, old school bun loaf style bars that are, you know, from like say 25, 30 years ago that they're poured and they have the, you know, the uh, very distinguished looking Engelhart, uh, uh, in, you know, uh, labeling on it. But these are my, these are my only other 10 ounce bars. I do have some single, I do have 10 single, um, one ounce, uh, Silvertown bars, but, but these are my only, uh, you know, uh, other than the Ingle Hearts I just described, these are my only um, 10 ounce bars. So I'm pretty excited about these. I, 
I, you know, almost the majority, almost all of my stack consists of, uh, consists of rounds, uh, coins, medallions, and that sort of thing. So these are my, this is sort of my, me sort of broadening out here and, and adding to my stack with a variety. And so I just thought 10 ounce bars would be pretty cool. I like the weight of them. Uh, I think I, I would probably seal these up before I, you know, uh, resorted to stacking these. But um, so overall, I'm pretty happy. This was I bought these from the Westminster Mint. Uh, they're located in Melbourne, Florida. Uh, I don't know if you guys have had much, uh, have done much business with them. If there is anything that I, I had an issue with, and it's not that big of an issue, was that I placed this order on like February 13th or something like that, and I. I typically go right to the mailbox, I'm, I'm sorry, right to the post office, get a, ma a money order and, and send that money order out the, the very same day I place an order. And, um, and that was, again, February 13th and today is uh, March 8th. So it's been, you know, what, five days shy of a month uh, in turnaround time from, uh, from start to finish on this. So, um, you know, that's not that big of a deal to me, but I would say that I, I placed a, uh, the last unboxing you guys saw, I placed the Atmex order well after this and, went and did the same exact thing, you know, sent out the money order the very same day, and I received those a, a whole week in advance of this. So, um, so you know, just if there's only point, any point I'm making there is that, you know, depending on who, you, who you're dealing with, some uh, online dealers are going to ship product routinely faster than others. And I think Atmex, you know, the fact that they're one of the bigger ones, they have broader selection and they're more well known. Um, and yeah, they do, their prices are a little, little stiffer, you know, than, than some of the other ones, but the other smaller mints, but you will get faster turnaround, I think, with the likes of Atmex. But, but that can vary. I deal with the, I dealt with the Monarch, which is a very small uh, online dealer and Monarch um, has very fast turnaround routinely I've found with them. I've, I've placed a couple orders with them um, thus far. So so I think it, it all just varies. You have to experiment, um, you know, maybe word of mouth, get, get some opinions before you place orders. And, um, you know, uh, the bottom line is as long as you get your product within a reasonable amount of time, let's say a month or so, then and you like the product, I think that's the most important thing. But other than that, uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'll, I always, uh, at my, um, my buys or whatever, I always update on my channel, um, homepage or whatever. So you can go there and see, you know, what my, uh, what my, uh, how much I've added to my stack, uh, in the, in the current year. So, uh, but again, you know, give me, give me your thoughts guys. And, um, uh, thanks for watching and uh, keep stacking.